Alright, so there's something to be said about getting a sneaker in hand that embodies comfort, quality, and affordability. And in today's review, this sneaker is a prime example of one that epitomizes all of those great qualities in one and is truly a classic in the sneaker community's eyes. So let's not waste any time. Here is the Nike Air Hirachi LE in the Perline colorway. All right, everyone, so welcome back in. I hope all of you are doing well and having a blessed day out there. If this is your first time taking a look at my channel, my name is Chris Young, and I'm thankful that all of you are tuning in to yet another video. If this is your first time stumbling upon my channel, thank you for taking a chance on it. Or if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for keeping your contributions to the channel going. It really means a lot to me. So as I stated before in the intro of today's video, today's topic of discussion is the Nike Air Hirachi LE in the Perline colorway. So if you could do so, leave me a massive thumbs up on today's video. Comment your opinion on these Hirachis down below in the comments section. Ring that notification bell. And lastly, please be sure to subscribe to the channel because we are inching ever so closely to that 3,000 subscriber mark. And I can't thank all of you enough for what you're doing for me, keeping me motivated to push out this content. And that's exactly what we will do. So let's keep this ball rolling and dive right into these sneakers, guys. So the Nike Air Hirachi, truly one of the most coveted and popular sneakers in the Swoosh's entire lineage. It was designed by Tinker Hatfield back in 1991, and the Perline colorway is actually an OG colorway that released in 1992 exclusively for women, but they are bringing it back almost 30 years later this Friday for a retail price of $120. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at this box. You have University Red on the lid and uppers, and then on the bottom half of the box, you have this gray striping on the sizing tag of this sneaker it reads nike air hirachi le which stands for limited edition and the official colorway for the perlines is perline umber vine and black and as i stated before the retail price of these is 120 dollars so very affordable and i really like that about the hirachi so let's go ahead and dive right into the intricate details of this sneaker Getting things started on the upper of this sneaker, the mudguard, toe box, as well as the mid panels of this sneaker are comprised of a tan nubuck, which is very soft to the touch. Progressing up this sneaker, the Hirachi's all-in-one tongue features this super breathable neoprene tongue, which is done in this light brown and perline finish. And then at the very top of the tongue, we do have this rubberized black emblem, which features Nike and Hirachi branding done in perline as well. And weaving through the tan Nubuck lace holders, we get our actual laces that come equipped in this sneaker, which are a flat style olive green lace. Underneath the tan Nubuck on the mid panels of this sneaker, we get more of that stretchable neoprene, which is done in this rich purple color. And this can also be found on the sock liner of this sneaker as well. Removing the insole from this sneaker, it is done in purple once again, but taking a look at the heel of it, we get Nike International branding, which is done in black and white. Now, making our way back to the outside of this sneaker and probably the most defining part of the Nike Air Hirachi itself, we have this black rubber heel clip and on the back of the heel clip, we get Nike debossed in as well. Moving our way down to the lower region of this sneaker, it does feature a golden brown rubber midsole, which features the word air embossed in on the heel. And then finishing out this sneaker on the very bottom, we get this perfectly treaded rubber outsole, which is done in black, but we also do have Nike Air branding in the center, which is done in golden brown as well. So when it comes to the sizing of the Nike Air Hirachi, this is one of the rare occasions where I would recommend whether you have narrow feet or wide feet to go a half size up to a full size up. Do not go down in the Nike Air Hirachi whatsoever because it's something with this neoprene sock liner. It just doesn't have as much give as you would think when you're inserting your feet into the footbed. Nonetheless, that does not take away from the comfort of this sneaker. I still feel like the Nike Air Hirachi is one of the most comfortable Nike models in its entire lineage, strictly because the footbed is just so comfortable. You don't feel the ground when you're walking because the midsole is very cushiony and these definitely get the job done for a lot of hours of wear. So shout out to Tinker Hatfield for making such an innovative design back in 1991. 
All right, guys, so my final thoughts and analysis on these Nike Air Hirachi LE in the Perline colorway. I must say that getting these in hand, they definitely exceeded my expectations a lot. I feel like official images of this sneaker really don't do them justice, so you really have to get them in hand to get your final judgment. The soft tan nubuck combined with the purple neoprene on the mid panels really makes these a great fall time sneaker, and I can really get an ACG vibe from these as well. So I'm really glad that Nike decided to bring this sneaker out of the vault after 30 years as his OG truest form. And I feel like the Nike Hirachi community will really go crazy for these on Black Friday. So I hope all of you are able to get these for $120 and not a dollar more. So be sure to tap in the sneakers app on Black Friday for your best chance. But that pretty much concludes today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a massive thumbs up. Comment your opinion on the Nike Air Hirachi LE in the Perline colorway down below in the comment section. Ring that notification bell. And lastly, please be sure to subscribe to the channel because we are inching ever so closely to 3,000 subscribers all because of you guys so the contributions that you guys have made to the channel cannot be understated and I truly thank you from the bottom of my heart so that's pretty much all I have to say about these guys we're going to go ahead and get into the on foot look stay safe stay blessed eat up on Thanksgiving treat yourself on Black Friday and I will see you guys in the next video